Speaking of Y Wing list, we do have one person who's running uh, four TLT Y Wings. Another person who's running a Miranda and two Y Wings. Uh, so that should be interesting, uh, that one version. All right, so here we're going. <laughs> we do have the labels out there. We think we know which ones are which. Yeah, I, I, I've figured it out. <laughs> We haven't seen any Paratani yet. We have seen Manaru, Fen, and Guri. Um, and I know I've seen a few other Manaru Fen lists. Uh, I think I saw a Manaru Fen Palob. The question is whether or not there's a Manaru Fen and a Shadowcaster of some sort, right? That's what the Paratani is. Uh, haven't seen that yet, um, but there might be one here. Swarm leader on yeah, sorry, swarm leader on the back squad. Match lift to ensure your MOB and number of match wins or points is correct. It is your responsibility to ensure yeah. the point that you have uh, no, a black squad MOB is correct. Well you had a uh, swarm tactics, yeah. We made a bit of a mistake here on Devin's list. We've actually got swarm uh, leader on Black Squadron Pilot. So formation flying is something that I've been, I was very bad at <laughs> when I was playing this game. So uh, it, I think it is the key to flying TIE Swarms, right? You would agree? Especially especially yeah. with one that has such like varied TIE Fighters as this one, mm -hmm. where like the dials aren't all the same and yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, one thing to notice is that Devin did not put adaptive ailerons on first of back. Uh, so I don't know how much you know about the TIE Strikers. But it's they, like some additional maneuverability, I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, they, they have a title, which if you equip the title, yeah. you must, every turn when you're not stressed, do uh, a one bank, one yeah. forward, or uh, one bank or one forward right. before your regular maneuver. He chose not to use that here, I guess, so that he could fly it in uh, formation with the rest of the group yeah. uh, more easily. Uh, that also means, though, he's limiting his formation a little bit because yeah. the TIE Striker does not have any four speed maneuvers. Uh, but no you would never want to go four speed, though, with well, the you might formation wanna... flying like this, right? You never know. You might want to zoom yeah. across the map with the whole group. Uh-huh. Um, is anyone else having trouble seeing the red labels? Would you prefer a different color? I mean, we could probably change the, the tone of the red. That's a little bit easier, right? Red and green are also hard to distinguish uh, for some people with color blindness, so maybe... Um, Uh, this is not table one, uh, as it were, red, uh, red key 21. Uh, this is our just our featured players table. So um, we've just been bringing up matches that we think will be interesting and throwing them on this table. Once we get to the uh, to the the, the cut, yeah. uh, we will start playing the top top players onto yeah. this table. This is this is table 30. So. Like middle of the packish, because mm -hmm. we have about a hundred players, and I believe last round yeah. was table eight. Yeah. So we just keep putting whatever we find yeah. interesting. I, I feel like it's it's a lot better for for people watching the stream not to watch the same matchups over and over, mm -hmm. which you're going to tend to see a little bit more of as we go uh, as we continue with the higher tables. So right now, I think you know people wanted to see a list with some uh, more unorthodox ships in them. So I really think that. It's just best to give the viewers what they want, right? Yep. <laughs> hey, I, I want to see this too. I mean, I've never seen a TIE Striker fly or a Special Forces TIE Fighter, you know? You're not getting... Uh... Oh, perfect. Okay. Well, we're glad you can see it now. Uh, and yes, <laughs> Devin is well known for flying TIE Swarms. Yeah. Uh, I've seen him fly the 8 TIE Swarm and various versions thereof. Uh, he's been doing this for years. Yeah, for years. Basically, he's been flying TIE Swarms since the beginning of X-Wing. Uh, so, yeah, Devin is very experienced flying those TIE Fighters. The addition of a striker here is what's, what's new, I think. 
So Ryad's just zooming across the top of the map there. And it's interesting to, uh, I'm interested to see what Rob is going to do with his, his full list here, how he's going to approach this swarm. Well, to Tomax to me, right, it just seems like it's just a con it's like a consistent damage ship, right? That's pretty much all it is. Yeah, because Tomax lets you flip yeah. over a one-use, um, uh, lets you flip over a one-use uh, EPT, which means that Tomax gets to use that crack shot over and over and over again, uh, which is really good. He becomes the best crack shot user in the game. That being said, it's a tie bomber which is not the most maneuverable, um, but he'll be able to push out damage. And that, uh, that Rebel Captive with the TIE Shuttle option there means that uh, it's going to be very hard to kill him, or if you want to kill him, you're going to have to take some stress to do it. So this is some really good, um, I think also good obstacle placement by Devin because he created kind of a lane. Yeah, he's um, his opponent, Rob, does, does what I think a lot, of, a lot of people do when there's like kind of like a complicated obstacle setup in the middle, which is fly around the edge and try to find an in. But Devin, like you know, knowing exactly uh, what he can do with his list, like I, I figured he can go like a couple of more moves straight ahead and then break depending on how the other aces break like you know it could also be that he might want to focus the tide bomber down first because that's the target looks like it's going to present itself uh mm -hmm. you know more so but again that's interesting right because to shoot the tide bomber yeah uh the player's shooting or the the, sh the ship takes that is shooting cause takes stress cause of rebel but it's only the first sh uh, ship that get that shoots at the tide bomber yes you i think you're right i think yeah. it's the first ship that shoots at each turn yeah I think that would be well unless unless he decides not to shoot at it would probably be Howl Runner or Chaser in this or Pure Survivor. I don't know what PS Pure Survivor is. Mm, six, I think. Five mm. or six? Um Howl Runner's the highest PS. Yeah. I think. What's Chaser? Chaser isn't that high. Chaser's on the PS3. So what do you think? We're going to see a quick and brutal kind of exchange? Um, or or you think, like, maybe after the first pass, the storm's going to break up? It really depends on uh, if Devin can grab one of the ships yeah. in arc here. Um, if Devin can get the entire group mm -hmm. facing well, any one of those ships... He might be able to kill one in the first round. Because, um, like, Pierce of Ox throwing four dice, right? This is not your normal tie swarm where they're yeah. all throwing two dice. <laughs> um, Pierce of Ox is throwing four. Uh, Black Squadron Pilot has Swarm Leader, uh, which I'm not sure if you're aware how Swarm Leader is works. Is it an evade or something? Like well, that? Swarm Leader... Uh, oh, you're absolutely right. Swarm Tactics can do that. Uh, so, as t just said, uh, with Swarm Tactics... Hellrunner can give one of the other ships a higher PS, so that ship can fire first. Right. So he can give it to Chaser or whoever yep. he wants. That said, um, Swarm Leader, what that does is when you take your shot, yeah. you can remove evade tokens off of two other ships anywhere on the board who also have that target in arc to add uh, one extra die to your shot per evade token that you remove. So if he's got a bunch of these guys evading, and they're all pointed at the same target, mm -hmm. uh, when the Black Squadron pilot shoots, he can pull off evade tokens that he didn't use to evade yeah. and add dice to the Black wow. Squadron pilot shot. Jeez. So you're getting four dice out of Pierce of Bach, up yep. to four dice out of Black Squadron. Uh, Omega Leader you can't modify against. Uh, and Howl Runners letting all of them re-roll their dice, right? So that's, that's just all sort of uh, yeah. nastiness. Uh, Parasak, that's, this is actually still round four. Round two was the one where we had, um, I forget who it was now. Who was in round two? 
Oh yeah, VJ was the round two. The decimator yeah. fight. Yeah, <laughs> and then the previous round, which we saw an amazing rebel control list versus that scum list. That was the previous round three, and now we're in round four. I kind of wish it was round five so that we would get to the cut sooner, but... <laughs> <laughs> Man, C Countess Ryad looks like it's going to be doing the full sort of flank maneuver here. Maybe maybe forcing um, Devin, or not forcing him, but giving him the choice to kind of mm -hmm. sort of split, either split his swarm, which he's probably not going to do, or he's going to, you know, maybe try to tempt him into turning his swarm off to the side of the board, which I think, I think Devin being such a disciplined uh, swarm player, like I don't think he's going to do that. Yeah, Devin's not going to yeah. fall for that, I don't think. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, this also puts Riot in a very predictable spot. Like, this is a three-turn next round, next turn, right? Yeah. 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 Next turn, he does a three-turn. Yeah. Uh, Riot does a three-turn, gets her evade. Yeah. Um, or, or maybe, okay, so tie, the tie X, the push the limit. So she, he just pushed the limit there. Yep. But, oh, so maybe oh, not a three. three. It might be a three K turn because of her ability, right? Yeah. That's three. That's an interesting possibility. Yeah. Uh, Actually, that might be the case to kind of like make a pincer sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if he if he if uh, he three Ks next turn, yeah, he'll be facing back towards the rest of his squad, and um, it could be at the point where the the swarm is already at the top of the board, so they yeah. may be an arc at that point. Although it might be it might be a little too early for that, right? Yeah, because the swarm's already moved here, so that's all that they're going to be. They might not go up that far. Um, but they have to go at a minimum of speed two, right? Because like, it's a bunch of tie Yes, they don't have yeah. they don't have one straight. Yeah. So if they do speed two, uh, it's questionable whether or not Riot would have them in arc. Yeah. Although Riot does have engine upgrade, so a K turn plus a boost downwards, yeah. right? Yeah. Could put Riot facing the swarm uh, just to the right of that rock. Yeah. Oh man, Tomax going in first. Hell is this? I think Tomax is the bait in a way. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, it's like the cheapest. Well, yeah, it's the cheapest of the three ships. It's the cheapest of the three ships. Yeah. Uh, it also has that rebel captive. Yep. Uh, so it's gonna cause problems for ships. But, but even like, I, I guess so. Yeah, because I guess he could. What he could do next turn is do a hard two into the side of the swarm. Yeah. Uh, and I think it clears. Uh, and now, ooh, and now you tough. have, and now you have that ship kind of like. Punching the side, you have Ryad sort of attacking from the other side, and then yeah. the Mega Leader is going to come in at the front. So you forked your list three ways. Right? Uh, this is actually backdraft, you mean? Yeah. Sorry, backdraft. Yes. Well, I mean, and I think that's the way to play against the Tie Swarm is to split up your list. Yeah. Um, all right. So what do we got? Uh, looks like Hellrunner shooting. I think Hellrunner right. shooting. So hit crit against uh, Tomax. Tomax. And it looks like two evades, one evade. I think it looks like a one evade. That looks like a blank. That looks like one evade yeah. to me. Yep. Yep. Okay, so and Rebel Captain stress there. Yeah. Owl Runner takes that stress. That's okay. okay, though. And so that's one crit. Oh, no. Turned it to a focus with some ability. Okay. There we go. Direct hit. Yeah, direct hit on Tomax Friend. <laughs> okay, so pretty lucky first turn, actually, for, uh, for Devin's swarm. Ooh, someone opened the doors. It got cold in here. Yeah, it's two doors open. It was getting kind of, kind of uh, warm. aromatic in here too. <laughs> yeah. All right. A. So. Yeah. Owl runner is gonna shoot. Oh, you know what? Uh, Omega leader's no, the one no, that it's shot. It's and chaser that shot. Omega leader. You're right. Omega right. leader's yep. one that shot. Owl runner shooting now. Okay. No, no. This is E. Chaser, I think, was shooting. No, no, no. That was, and that that was, was an evasion. A. Now it's Black Squadron Pilot. Yeah. How, how runner? Oh, okay. It looks like the entirety of the list. Uh, yep. There we go. Now the Black Squadron is using Swarm Leader. Uh huh. And taking the two evade tokens off of. Uh, off the uh, off Chaser ships, and. Yeah. Uh, Beaver. He hits four dice, rolls, hit focus. Not great. But still, if there's a, it's a tokenless um, Tomax Bren that's defending, right? But wow, right, natural, natural three of eights though there. So, 
Now, that, that um, Swarm Leader didn't get discarded, right? No, Swarm no, Leader is every turn if okay. you want it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. I like it when uh, players cooperate with us. <laughs> Oop. Uh, no. Nudge. That's okay. All right. Range two. Looks like he's going to shoot a uh, chaser at range two. Tomax Bren. I have a feeling that that uh, turn in was not a good idea. No, it's too early, I think. Yeah. Right, Tomax like, did take a direct yeah. hit, by the way. If yeah. he could just remove two, two damage on that. And so, like, was that a... That was like an... Oh, looks like two damage on the TIE Striker. And it is was a thrust control failure. Yeah. No. That was on E. Chaser. E, okay. Yeah. Sorry, it looked like a striker in the picture over there. <laughs> so thrust control, control failure is... Just gives you a stress, stress and then you turn okay. it face down immediately. But that uh, shouldn't affect the, That the looks timer. like it's out of arc. Uh, that might be worthy of a judge call. Yeah. We should get a laser. No, no, no we're gonna... No, that's, that's out of arc. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit more clear that way. Yeah, you're stretching, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> So, t t so Tomax. Oh, yeah, they're calling it treasure. So Tomax, Tomax may have done a foolish maneuver there, but yeah. I think although it didn't now, turn out as bad for him as we may no, have thought. No, because two of the swarm are stressed, uh -huh. which means they can't flip around to chase after Tomax. Right. Tomax this turn can just do a K turn yeah. and be behind the whole swarm next turn. Whether or not they continue to go after him is the real question. Um, yeah, so that's uh, Graham just came over, and now he's, I think, trying to figure out if he, uh, Pierce Sabak is indeed out of in arc or, or in arc. arc. I'm pretty confident it's out of arc. Is he at, uh, no, that's way too wide, I think. No, they need they need to use the longer yeah. ruler. Yeah. And you need to lay it down along the line. Yeah, yeah that's Not out of even. arc. Not even. Although, I mean, the, the wing of the TIE Bomber is hiding the ruler, so... But still, I think it's... Yeah, but it's whether it's, or not it's lined up here. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, they open the doors. So if I were uh, Rob here, I would K-turn with the bomber and end up behind the whole yeah. swarm. That's better than the two bank. I, the mm -hmm. hard two I was thinking of. Because I think the hard two even puts it on the rock still. Yeah. Now, I'm curious what he'll do with Riot. I'm expecting a three bank, or a 3K, a 3K yeah. and then a boost... Uh, down. Or he could hard three and then boost. No, but a hard three isn't green. Is yeah, it? what's green on the defender? I don't it's just a K. Isn't it? The Riot straights? gets all her K turns uh, green. Yeah. Yeah. Riot has Riot has all her green straights. Uh, the defender has the hard three is white, so he would remain stressed. Yeah. Um, I don't think yeah. I don't think stressing himself was a good idea here. No, I think the best maneuver is. Get the green K turn. Tie X7 gives you an evade because it was a yeah, yeah, green a maneuver. Three. It was yeah. worth three or more. And then you just boost in. And so you have the... You could even push the limit and get a focus. And now you're all tokened up. Tokened up. But yeah. you're still at... Yeah. Two hull for two hull plus stress. Yep. It seems to be a pretty fair trade of a turn. What's the PS of Chaser? Chaser's three. PS3. So so it's possible Tomax to even take out Chaser before it gets to fire. So yeah, this true. might actually have been ended up being a really good maneuver for for Rob here. down. Okay, so that looks like uh, so Chaser first. Chaser first. Doing three straights with the Swarm, it looks like. 
I think maybe this is anticipating a K turn from Tomax, maybe trying to put as much distance between Tomax and this, the brick. I don't know. That's that's a uh... because the Tide Bombers have a 5K. Yes, I feel like they do. Yeah, I think I think Tide Bombers are 5K. So if you can put a lot of distance between them, um, then Bombers sort 5K. of yeah. Yeah, and then as predicted, we see the, the 3K from Countess Riad. Now I'm curious about the actions here. Is he going to boost? I think boosting is the best maneuver. Although, it depends the angle of the boost, if you can do yeah. a straight after that. Or he could just he stay could there and take yeah. the range 3 shot at uh, Pierce, Pierce Sabak Sabak, when yeah. once Pierce Sabak moves up. Oh, we're yep. doing the boost, yep. just like I thought. Cool. That puts Riot in an excellent, shot, uh, excellent place to take a shot. And then a barrel roll to Boost. push the limit. Okay. Yep. yep. Barrel roll forward as possible. So that gets Riot nice. as close as possible. It may and even dodge arc. the arc of everybody except maybe Howl Runner, depending yeah. on if she she went speed three as well. I wasn't expecting the barrel roll, but uh, of course, why not? Boost barrel roll and then. Well, it puts in. you. Uh, now the defenders have uh, green banks, do they? One bank is green or two uh, banks green or something? I don't or is think it just so. their straights? Just their straights are green. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's still decent, right? Like, that still mm -hmm. clears the stress. And is that a sloop from the time? Yes. Yes. Sorry, the special okay. forces can sloop. Uh, Damn. Although, I mean, with backdraft, backdraft's ability works best when there's someone behind you, right? Well, it only works when there's someone behind you. Yeah, but with the special ops training, so, you're getting a three dice attack out the front anyway. Yeah, you're know? getting three dice, but out you don't the get back is two dice hit. plus yes. a crit, so... Yeah. It's better to shoot out the back. Yeah. Um, still, what you really want with uh, the special forces yeah. is to be in the middle of a group, right? Some people in front of you, some people behind you. Right. So you can shoot out the front and back in the same turn. But they're kind of uh, kind of fragile, right? Because they only have two evade dice? Yeah, they only have two evade dice. So you don't want to be in the middle of the sandwich. Sorry, a two slew. Uh... All right, turns. someone's using Glitterstim. Who's got Glitterstim? No, that wasn't Glitterstim. That was Crackshot. Oh, that was Crackshot. Yeah. Crackshot. They look similar. Oh, uh, Twitter103, thanks for hosting our channel. Man, 23 viewers. Ooh, up to 23 viewers. Did they do a three sloop or a two sloop? What is, what is the... Here, I'm going to go check. Yeah. Double check that. It is no, it's a three sloop. It is a three sloop. It's the tie FO that has the two sloop. Uh, <laughs> no corrects are. There's the five K. Man, Mike, it's like you played this game before. You know what these guys are doing. <laughs> Well, there are things I forget, um, but there's the 5k from Tomax, as expected. Tomax is now in an excellent position to just keep plowing into the sound for a while. Devin's going to have real trouble, I think, um, maintaining his uh, target yeah, priority. This, this positioning is awkward now because uh, Ryad, okay, next so turn, is just going to get... Oh, there's a bit of a bump there. Uh, so I think he's choosing to activate so I think he, cho he chose to activate uh, excuse me uh, really? Omega Leader oh, sorry Omega Leader always okay. goes first yep and then it's Howl Runner I wish we did have the PS on here yeah. that'd be nice <laughs> Omega Leader Howl Runner yep. uh, and then Chris Sabak Chaser Black Squadron I think. or Black Squadron Chaser <laughs> so it looked like Backdraft just took one shield there yeah? Yeah. And so, uh, I, think, I think the other thing we're missing is, I see on the screen, but not in the list, uh, that, that Rob has, uh, is it Twin Ion Engine Mark II on, uh, on Ryan there? Is that what that is? Once again, friends. Read the list. You're looking at Slicer 6. You probably got your cover
Oh, that's on backtrack. Backtrack, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, so backdraft just took two more hits there. So it looks like all shields are down for backdraft. But uh, now it's Tomax's turn to take a shot. Do you think you just try to finish off Chaser here, maybe? The thing about Swarms is you always try to finish something off. Yeah, right. And you have Crack Shot, so wouldn't it be the better option, perhaps? Uh, yeah, Chaser only has one hit left, so... Yeah. I'd say try and kill Chaser. Although... Uh, oop, what did he just use? He just used the... He's just showing that he's using Crack Shot. Right. So that's two hits. And... Focus... No... Hits. And I think he just shot at... Omega Leader just took a hit yeah. and a damage. damage uh, yeah. Sorry, shield and hull down on Omega Leader. Maybe he's expecting the backdraft to finish off Chaser here. Well, I mean, if you can kill Omega Leader early, you yeah. really want to. Um, it looks like Omega Leader has the target lock, mm -hmm. so he's hoping for... Um, uh, just good dice on Omega Leader. But you can always crack shot, I think. Because um, crack shotting is modifying your opponent's yeah. dice, not your own. Can you do that with, um, with Omega Leader? I think. Let's see. Tayapo, Omega Leader. Cannot modify any of dice. Uh, modify any dice when attacking you or defending against your attacks. If you have a target lock, right? So, yeah, yeah if, if uh, Omega Leader has a target lock. So Tomax shooting Omega Leader means he's just hoping the dice work out in his favor. Yeah, but um, the crack shot doesn't modify his own dice, right? It, no, but you can't modify any dice. Oh, so crack shot doesn't work. The crack shot Jeez. doesn't work against Omega Leader. This is, is a pure Sabak attack, or no? Uh, that would have been... Who was rolling attack there? <laughs> Sorry? Backdraft shooting Backdraft. at pure Sabak, is it? Yeah, it looks like. And pure Sabak, you want to get uh, two damage into as fast as possible. Uh, Why is that? Because if he only has one damage card or less, yeah. he has four dice out for attacks. Oh, okay. Which is what's going on right here. Pure Sabak is firing at Backdraft, I think yeah, it was. Most likely. And then Chaser got a free yeah. focus. Three hits and a crit, and it looks like one evade, two evades. Oh, sorry, I'm right? And two blanks. Uh, oh, you're right. Crack cancels a die, doesn't modify it. Yeah. Okay, uh, stun pilot on backdraft, so that's two damage. Okay, so backdraft down to one HP left. Yeah, that's no good for backdraft. And that's that's the problem with the TIE SF, is the people find evade, they're right? very fragile yeah. with only the two evade. Riot's taking a shot at Halrunner, it looks like? No, Omega Leader, I think he was... Oh, was he checking Omega too. Leader? Yeah. Well, if he could shoot Omega Leader now, although he's not modifying any dice this turn because he has no tokens. So you think it's a wasted shot here? But, uh, yeah, well, it looks two. like... Uh, well, no, I mean, you might as well shoot Omega Leader. Again, you always want to finish off one thing yep. at a time. So that was a, a whiff on Countess Riot. And, and now, now Backdraft is shooting... No, it's being shot at. Or Backdraft is being yeah, shot Chaser's at. Chaser's being shooting at Backdraft. And it looks like it got evaded. Yep. Yep. Mm. I think that's the turn. Yep. So, uh, I'm actually really surprised. Uh, no ships have left the board just yet, but uh, I think we're going to see half these ships <laughs> disappear uh, next turn. Yeah, at the start of the next turn. But now, like, what, what's Devin going to do? Like, what's his turn? Does he break with uh, Pierce Sabak? Because, like, that asteroid. I mean, obviously. Yeah, you, can't you don't want to run into the asteroid. You can't do a K turn. Well, he could do a K turn with everybody but Pure Sabak, I guess. So, Pure Sabak has yeah. two sloops and a two K turn. Uh -huh. uh, it's so short because they're normally combined with right. adaptive air lines. So, he could break with it, although you can't go to the right because that'll land on the rock. Could yeah. go to the left and be facing where Ryad's going to be. Right. Um, that's a possibility with Pure Sabak. But if he does that, Chaser has to get out of the way. Um, And then the question is, what do you do with the rest of the swarm as well? Yeah. Um, I can see Chaser going forward to take care of Backdraft. Yep. Pure Sabak slooping to be facing Ryad. Uh, the TIE FO Omega Leader could sloop as well, so they're both facing Ryad. That's a possibility. 
PJ, thank you for confirming that in the fact. Yes, so Crack Shot can be used against Omega, so that's what happened there to... Uh, Just want to say thanks to our to our viewers. You guys have been great in terms of calling our uh, uh, calling us out when we get something wrong. Um, Man, it's like we got like 130 streamers right now. Do we? <clears throat> no, like in the chat. Yeah, we're we're, we're, we're crowdsourcing our uh, our knowledge. Our knowledge, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great. Uh, now, so what do you think? Riot, I think, would probably just do like a one bank or one forward yep. or something. Uh, well, one bank, or sorry, one forward, because you want to clear that stress. Uh, and then chances are all this stuff is still going to be an arc. Um, but if not, she can always boost towards the swarm. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think Riot's going to eat something this turn. And you said the, the best thing to take out is a mega leader? Well... You never want to leave Omega Leader for last, but I think yeah. Tomax is going to finish off Omega Leader if possible. But but Tomax is also stressed, and I don't think the Tie Bomber has any green turns. But the if he goes bomber? if he goes three forward, which I think is green on the Tie Bomber, like he'll get something in arc because yeah. I think that the, the thing the Swarm's going to do is well, I was going to say the thing the Swarm's going to do is turn, but this looks like a block. Or no, it's not even a K turn. No, it's Chaser's just, a four just forward. Yeah. Just moving forward to try and block uh, to block the backdraft. Backdraft, if possible. Which was probably going to do what some kind of bank, green bank there. Now so so we're seeing the swarm split up here. Yeah. Uh, hard one from D, that's the Black Squadron pilot with Swarm Leader. Yeah. Uh, that's anticipating what? To uh, Tomax going four oh. forward or something like uh, that? Crackshot has been used on Pierce Sabak. Thank you. Or maybe not. Our, we can go double check that. Do you want to go double check that? We'll yep. go double check that and let you let you know for sure. Oh, there's a three forward from Riot. Interesting. Uh, because now the rest of the swarm can just move up out of arc. Uh, I was expecting just a one forward so that Riot would keep uh, most of the swarm in arc here. But it's possible that the whole swarm is swinging away, uh, and if that's the case, then uh, yeah, then so Riot will have arc on some of them. Uh, Pierce Sabak still has crack shot on. Him. Okay, so crack shot's still there. Although, although it looks like he just, oh, he did spend it. Okay, okay, right, crack so. shot is gone. Sorry, conflicting and sorry, it was face up when I went to go check, and then they just flipped it face down. Yeah. All right, so there's a barrel roll from Riot. No, 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 no. And Pure Sabak, not Tomax. Yeah, yeah, the wrong, it's the wrong one. Uh, yeah, Tomax never spends it. Yeah. It always flips back up. <laughs> All right, so Riot's taking a target lock on uh, Black Squadron Pilot. Black Squadron Pilot. Yeah. Oh wow, that barrel roll perfectly blocked the tie striker. That's an odd move though. That, that I wonder was why. Do. Um, like I wonder why he wanted to turn that way. A little trouble there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm kind of curious why. Devin decided to split it up like that. Maybe to swing around to get backdraft from behind. Yeah, or I feel maybe like that he was, was expect the best maneuver. Maybe okay. he was expecting a one forward from Riot. Uh, like and then just definitely. joust uh, Riot? Yeah, maybe he was expecting that, that was, I don't think that's a really good idea when you have a six HP uh, evade token defender. Yeah, if you're Sabak, though, you really want to just like four dice out the front, right? Uh, as see, long okay. as you're, um, yep. and it'd be five dice at range one. If you yep. had that range one shot, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, why not? <laughs> Although, you do want to move uh, three speed with Ryad right. to get the three of eight. 
And that looks like uh, Backdraft maybe like anticipated the block there. Well, Backdraft so is trying to jump. Yeah. yeah. Far Instead ahead. of turning in, he turned away. Yep. Um, and of course, now this is where you get to see the back arc, his ability come into play of Backdraft. Oh, and Hellrunner also did a hard one. Yeah. So it looks like the whole crew decided to split off in multiple directions here. But now the unfortunate thing is, like, it looks like maybe only no Omega shot for leader. Hell Runner. Oh, he's, maybe he's trying to do the barrel roll there. Yeah. No. Nope. Try to get a shot. No. No, you wouldn't be able to. Okay. So it looks like uh, only Omega leader, and depending on what Tomax does here. Hmm. Well, no, not even Omega leader. Uh, although he made barrel roll into. A shot with Ryan. Nope, just taking an evade there. Yep, does not have the shot. Interesting. I think he's hoping that Tomax Brand gets in front of. Uh, yeah, because I think it's like a three or four straight that might be green for the tie bomber, something like that. Uh, I think the three straight is. Yeah. Players just over three minutes left in the round. Again, players just over three minutes left in the round. Just the one straight from Tomax. That's fairly conservative. Now I mean, like, he probably think The bomber can barrel roll, right? Yeah. Uh, so I would totally barrel roll here oh, to get yeah. the shot on Omega Leader, right? Because you don't you, care so much about the Well, you, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't care about having um, a focus yeah. or a target lock yep. because you can't use them against Omega Leader anyways. So you barrel roll, take that crack shot, shot at Omega Leader now if you can. Really? Hmm. So he's trying to find if, uh, see if uh, Mega Leader has an arc on Ryad. Yeah. I guess checking for Howl Runner uh, Aura as well. That's true, uh, T Bets. Uh, um, Devin did check for Barrel Roll, and he could have slid back and fit, so. If his opponent was a stickler for it, he could have um, forced him to do that barrel roll. Uh, because when Devin checked for barrel yeah. roll, he checked at the front, which would have hit the rock. But you only choose side for barrel roll, right? So if you say I'm checking left, if there's anywhere left you can oh, do really? it, you have to I do see. it. Oh, really? I see. So that, that was like a two shots from... I'm not sure where that was. Howlrunner? No. Couldn't have been Howlrunner. Uh, someone... That was Tomax. Okay, Tomax. Tomax is PS9, I think? 8? 9? Tomax is a high PS ship for some reason. 8. So, what's, uh, what's next here? Who just rolled 4 dice? So that's a pure Sabak shot? No. No, pure Sabak has no shot this turn. That would be backdrop, yes? Shooting? Yeah. Right, because they added the crit and then he rolled his three dice. I see. Oh, nasty. <laughs> oh, that's Chaser down, I think. So, Backdraft just shot into Chaser, crit hit, and uh, Chaser is dead. So, Chaser has been removed from the game. And that's fine, Chaser was a sacrificial lamb in this list, uh, almost certainly. But unfortunately, there's been no, there's been no trade, right? Like Black Draft is still at one HP, but now that the swarm is split up, right? Yeah. It's uh, it's less likely that now, if the you could put any. Yeah. Um, or sorry, if the Tai SF did like a hard turn here, he could have uh, on the next turn, he could have a Black Squadron pilot in his rear arc. Yeah. Um, to, uh, Black Draft would be facing the board edge, might be able to get out of it. I don't know if it has a hard line. If it does have the hard one, then uh, if a Thai uh, SF has a hard one, which I think it does, it's red though, so that'd be no good. He would yep. do a hard one here, get a shot, and then fly off the map next turn. Uh, could be worth it since he only has one HP left and he's going to die soon, anyways. Ooh. Omega Leader down? Omega Leader is down with a shot from Ryad. So now Pure Sabak's out of position, Howl Runner's out of position. Mm -hmm. um, this Black Squadron pilot is probably going to die to a double attack from both Tomax and Backdraft. Next turn? Yeah, Ryan's probably going to K turn. 
two max for sure. Yeah. If I were backdraft, yeah, it's hard to say if I'd just turn out the rear to get that extra crit. Yeah. Or if I just uh, hard one or hard two, I guess. Out. Uh, I think I would hard two. Inwards. Uh, Riot K turns three or something. Gets rid of the stress. Riot does her three straight and then decides if she wants she to decides, K turn yeah. or not, right? Actually, three bank even, she could follow the black squadron pilot. Can Although, she change no. a three bank into a K turn? No, no, no. Only straights. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm really surprised that uh, there's no lightweight frame on backdraft. Although, could uh, be a I point guess issue, just a points issue. Yeah. I'd consider it over the rebel captive, to be honest. Um, or maybe uh, maybe Rob just doesn't own a striker yet, where you get the uh, rebel captive from, or not the, Is the lightweight frame. Is zero point upgrade? Ty Shuttle is a zero right, player. I think so. If anybody is interested in a Star Wars Destiny side turn starting next round or perhaps with the top 16 kind of ideas, we challenge B2 Well, if you're interested in Star Wars <laughs> So apparently Destiny, there's a Star Wars Destiny side so turn is starting. It's pretty <laughs> cool. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to stream any of that. Do you play Destiny? I do play Destiny, yeah. in fact. Uh, I know a lot more about Destiny than I do about this game. <laughs> uh, so, fortunately enough, uh, Face to Face Games is actually doing a Destiny box tournament next week, the 28th, which VTTV Live will also be streaming. And, and that's been a really popular game for our stream, I think. So, uh, okay. if any of you guys watching right now is, are interested in Destiny, uh, we're really excited to be bringing uh, Destiny content because the game is so new and and I think there isn't there isn't a lot of content. I mean, there's some really good um, strategy videos by by casters like Tiny Grimes Games and Severn Gaming Network. Um, haven't seen any proper tournament coverage yet, aside from like the one tournament that VTTV did about a month ago. Uh, but yeah, we're really looking forward to streaming the Destiny tournament next week. Um, so that's the. Uh Sloop there. That's the bank from Riad, like I was thinking. So the whole team is going right. after uh, after the Black Squadron pilot. Pure Sabak does a sloop. I'm sorry, you were about to ask a question. No, no, no. I was gonna I was gonna ask if uh, if that's. Do you think? Do you agree with that move instead of just doing a the sloop three K and trying to joust Pure Sabak? Who? Sorry. Oh, Riad. Riad. Yeah. Uh, no, picking off one ship at a time is always good. Devin's already got them all split up. So why not finish off? Uh, right. Um, why not finish off uh, Black Squadron pilot, and then next turn regroup and come at the rest of the list here, right? <laughs> so Tomax doing a, a one bank. Yep. Which I do not think is green mm -hmm. on a type. Uh, no, the two banks are. Right. But the entire team uh, has. Yep. Oh, just a three forward from the Thai SF. Which means the rear arc is going to be facing uh, Black Squadron pilot here. Question is, does the TIE SF live? Oh yeah, for sure, because barrel roll. Yeah. <laughs> this this is some really good rolls. flying by Rob, by the way. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. Yeah. Split up a tie. Uh, split up a swarm break. Didn't lose any ships. You know. I mean, backtrap could still die. Um, hell, Tomax could still die. Countess hasn't been touched though, and the Countess will just yep. ruin the rest. And, and of the Countess list. is the endgame ship here. Oh yeah. Uh, but the fact that he's been able to keep so many of his other things too, like it's going to be really good for his MLB going forward. I, this is this is table thirty, so it's middle of the pack. But um, you know, the person who wins this uh, this game still has a chance to make it into the top. Five. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So the classic kill box has been assembled against yeah. that black squadron pilot. Hell runner's completely out of position. Pure Sabak has a range three shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's not not good news. So uh, backdraft is going to be shooting out the rear at uh, the black squadron pilot. Yeah. So he's going to eat that crit and then three dice. Two Another hits and a crit total there. Two hits and a crit on. Spending the target lock to make sure the job is done here. Yep. It's a focus. focus, so nothing. So and with three, three blanks blank. again. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> All 
All right, Devin's uh, pointing at us. <laughs> uh, Devin's cursing right, yeah. at us across from yeah. across the room. Um, uh, he's he's rolled a ton of blanks lately, and there goes the Black Squadron pilot, who I mean, to be fair, was not going to survive this turn anyways with both Tomax yeah, I think and Riot without, facing without him. Backdraft's lucky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's no way three attacks he would have kept uh, stayed alive. So Pierce the Box going to take a range three shot at Riot or Tomax. Riot, I think it is. That was some really, really bad luck for Devin. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, three hits. From who? I think that should have been four dice for uh, Pierce Sabak. So both players are one and two. Uh, they're both one and two at this table. And, and I, it just uh, just a clarification from there may have been some confusion earlier. It is indeed a top sixteen and not top thirty two cut. It is a top sixteen. Yeah. So we're not going to be here all night. No. <laughs> uh, we'll be here late, but yeah. <laughs> Every time one of these uh, these X-Wing tournaments happens, I secretly hope that no Mirandas or Corrin Horns or Dash Rendars ever make the final table. Right. <laughs> hmm. I think I just want to see Joustless just run into each other. I think so Devin for 30 minutes. forgot to roll a die when attacking with Pierce Sabak. Just uh, now? Just now. He only rolled three, I think, and it should have been four. Well, that's just a... Is that a missed opportunity because it's an ability? <laughs> yeah, it's a missed opportunity. Because um, it's a may, not a must. No, actually, it's must. It's roll one additional attack die. So he should have rolled an extra die there. But we're at the point where the attack is... Well, how many... I mean, I, I stepped away from the streaming booth for a minute. How many evades did um, Rob roll? Uh, I don't know. Because uh, it may just be a moot point. Yeah, it may be a moot point in the end. Okay, so three, three sloop oh. on a rock? No, those Ryan's three straight. going three straight, landing on a rock. So what is oh, this? Was it? Just kind I of only like saw him roll three dice into the thing, but maybe he grabbed it before I noticed. It's like a hit there. So one hit on Riot. Is that shields down for Riot? I guess she took a bunch of damage earlier, right? Is Riot... Whoop. Did Riot take damage? Yeah, Riot has no shields at the moment. Yeah. Looks like three. They're all gone there. All the tokens are gone. There's a, a sloop from Backdraft. Coming back. Yeah, I think what this is is that Riot going three forward, just setting up so that they can all attack next turn. Yep. Tomax doing a 5k next turn probably, Riot doing a 3k. Yep. Yep. And then just coming, like sort of making Sabak come into that cone of fire there. Uh, 5k. 5k here, yeah. It's, yeah, I'm almost surprised he didn't K-turn with Riot. If he K-turned with Raya, that would have meant that yeah. Raya would be far forward next turn. That's true. Right? Yeah. So he could just do a 2K two, yeah. uh, two two next eight. turn, yeah. and then the whole group can come in, and they can yep. just come in as a wall together exactly. and blow the heck out of uh, Sabak there. Pure Sabak. It looks like only one shot available this turn. That's Pure Sabak shooting on Raya. Four dice. There we go. Three hits and a focus. Four hits on Riot. That's pure Sabak on, on Riot there. Nasty. Uh, and it looks like one, two evades and a focus token. So evade. that's going to be three evades. Riot it's takes one evade. hit. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, chipping away at each ship, but still Hasn't having that weight of firepower. I mean, pure, pure Sabak is the highest PS. Uh, well, it's pure Sabak and Howl Runner both. Mm -hmm. um, maybe... 
You know, Countess Wright actually is in danger of dying before she gets to shoot back here. That's true. Perhaps. Uh, unless Toma, uh, Tomax and Backdraft managed yeah. to kill Kirsabach first. Yeah, what, what Ryad might do here is actually do a 4, 4K maneuver. And be farther and away. be further away and let Tomax and Backdraft take the brunt first. But then that's the same problem, like Backdraft dying when Kirsabach sh shoots yeah. her. Although, again, uh, well, you know what? I'd, I'd do the 3K here because you want that free evade token. Yeah. Uh, and then you want to focus and... Barrel roll, perhaps? Out of the way of the asteroid? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get my coat on. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Oh, they just closed the doors, it looks like. So. They left one door open, it's not too bad. <laughs> It's actually a balmy, what, six, seven degrees Celsius today, which is warm for Toronto in January. So. <laughs> but, all right, it's not too bad. All right, so Riot did do a K turn and is boosting back. Uh, did the 3K, 4K, boosting back, so it becomes the equivalent of the 2K. And then uh, focus of aid. Or sorry, focus and boost, that is. So it's the equivalent of a 2K from where she was. So one bank from Fursabak. Fursabak might actually be out of range this turn. We'll see. If not, that's no, range three like through a rock. That'll be that'll be really good for. Or maybe uh, maybe Riot's he chooses defense. to go after if if Riot is indeed out of range. That might actually be within range three of Backdraft there. Mm -hmm. we'll Backdraft might actually be the, the the ship to shoot at anyway, because it's not going to have the. the it's full the one token. you can kill. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Three bank from Hal Runner. Finally gets back into range one yeah. of uh, Pure Sabak. The man Pure Sabak has its work cut out for it uh, to kill all three of these ships. Three forward from Tomax. Yeah, again, Tomax just kind of offering himself up here. Yeah. Um, Which is fine. Tomax has four yeah. hits and shoots first. If I were Tomax, I would shoot Pure Sabak. Try and get those two damage in, so it's yep. because the box shot uh, only gets three dice, uh, three instead, dice of four, instead of four. Yeah. And that looks like what's happening here. He's target locked, uh, Pierce the Rock. So uh, Devin's going to need one more evade than he normally does because of the crack shot ability. Yep. yep. Um, and he doesn't have lightweight frame. Yep. Uh, the TIE Striker only has two dice. Yep. So that's one shot from Howl Runner. Oh, see, that's what happens. Devin pulls his dice out so right, quickly right. that it's hard to see what he rolled. So that was one hit, Hal Runner against uh, Tomax. Tomax, Tomax evade. evading that. Yeah, I'm actually, imagination, I'm kind of rooting for Pure Sabak now. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Range two, Pure Sabak. Uh, uh, oh, the, all those focuses. Okay, here we go. Just Ooh, like four, four hits, hits, one evade. Looks one like. evade. And Tomax Bren takes three. Ugh. Tomax not not enough to kill him, unfortunately. Not enough to kill him. Tomax Which is, Bren again, it's so alive. unfortunate. I mean, because now, oh, wait. What did we miss? Maybe we missed the damage early? Okay. Oh, well, we must okay. have missed the damage. In, in which like... case, <laughs> geez. Okay, so now we have a full HP Howl Runner, full HP Kirsavak versus two, like, hanging by a thread ships. This is this is now devolved into an Aces fight. Could we, um, from now on, make this dice bin a little smaller and put it in the bottom center of the view here? Sure, we can move it around yeah. based on where the action is. Yeah. Because I think we're missing yeah. the cards. Uh, yeah. So this is Ryad shooting. Um, and with a... Looks like... Oh, no, this is Backdraw shooting. Oh, And Pierce right. Bach takes two hits now. Hellrunner Swarm Tactics Pierce Bach so that Pierce Bach uh, could shoot before Tomax. So three damage on Sabak. Is it?
Or, or it was simultaneous? Yeah. Uh, so it looks like to be, ooh, could be just out of range here. Yeah, it looks like it's out of range. So, so what do you think uh, Howl Runner's chances are if, <laughs> if Pure Sabak trades with one of those ships? Mm, not good. No? I mean, Howl Runner's two, two attack dice, right? Backdraft would, well, they'd, they'd both ruin Howl Runner, I think. Man, I mean, I will say though, Devin's kind of made this into an actual game here. Yeah, yeah, it looked pretty bad before. See, I feel like if we were doing a top table match right now, the game would be over and one side would have decimated the other. <laughs> but this is the reason why we're doing this. The Swiss Not only rounds. do you guys get to see these nice janky ships, uh, you actually get to see like a back and forth match here. Uh, Tomac should have shot, is that correct? Yes. No, 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 Tomac, so... Sorry? Tomax did shoot. Yeah. yeah, Tomax did shoot. That was the dam That was the one that did three damage to Pierce Yeah. No, that's they not true. It was uh, uh, the SF up there that yeah. shows. Yeah. Oh, but I did see Tomax shoot. He did okay. like two so dice. So he did roll the dice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, is that one clip bang? The, is that clip uh, the asteroid? Maybe? That looks like that might hit that rock. <laughs> Devin holding it. <laughs> You're on oh, the rock, no, sir. On it. I think it's on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. it's being nudged. Yeah, it's being nudged. It's totally on that rock. So, Ryad gets no, a rock. No shot for Ryad. Lucky break for Devin. Interesting and a damage. choice. <laughs> Ryad took one? Yeah, Ryad took one. Ryad's down to one hit. Backdraft is down to one hit. Swarm Man, tactics where, might win the array when you need it, eh? Swarm tactics might be what wins the game here. <laughs> uh, no, I'm serious because uh, Pure Sabak gets to shoot before these others uh, yeah. because of Howlrunner swarm tactics. Yep. Sorry, uh, Harass. I don't know how to pronounce that. There's a lot of people moving in and around here. It's very easy to get distracted. Oh, that's a bump oh, for wow. Tomax as well. Uh, why did I? Why did he do that one bank? I'm not sure. Maybe maybe he didn't want to keep his distance or something. <laughs> What's that? Stun pilot. Stun pilot. Uh, which means that. Oh, when he overlap, isn't that what stun pilot does? When he overlaps, he deals yep. damage. Oh my when god. When you bump something. Wow, this game has. Become... Why did he bump? Because he knew, like, it wasn't like... Uh, yeah, I, why did he bump himself? Man, maybe he just momentarily forgot about that uh, shit. The one bank was such a strange move yeah. that it... Jeez. Well, okay. oh, no. <laughs> okay, well... Oh, my God. Uh, Swarm tactics here, I'm right? pretty sure Devin Swarm managed tactics. to turn this around. Jeez, jeez. Hal Runner. Hal Runner with the kill shooting? shot. With the kill shot. Hit crit. Oh, it looks like one blank, of Blank, blank, two, two of eights. Two of Mistakes were indeed made. Uh, Rob could have had this. Four dice, and target lock, yep. focus, and three hits. He needs to get pure. He needs pure Sabak here. Oh my god, is that three evades? No, that's one focus. Two evades and a focus? Two evades and a focus. That's okay. game over, Congratulations and Devin to managed Devin. to win. Wow, wow. really impressive. Um, absolutely impressive. I, I cannot believe that. Um, he did that one bank. I don't know why he did that one bank. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it, it seems like it's going to be a, a recurring theme today. People so, making some pretty obvious well, mistakes. Well, or? not not so obviously. I'm like, I'm not going to try to take anything away from Rob because, oh, like, yeah, yeah. as we saw, he played incredibly excellent. well, incredibly well. But but the, just the fact that like you know, the longer a tournament goes on, I mean, we're already in round four. You've been standing for like four and a half hours at yep. this point. Yep. Um, now you're in on a feature match, and like you just sometimes you just. Your, your mind's so bad. Yeah. You know, just you, you forget about stuff. You just forget about stuff, yeah. you dial in that one bank, and then yep. you plow your two ships together. Yep. When one has the crit that says, don't plow ships together. <laughs> 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 so, uh...